I love the soundtrack. Just that little, like, ten seconds of music we had right there was so good. It sounds like somebody's flipping pages of a book. Melinda? <gasps> hey! Hey! What are you doing? Do you know what time it is? <sighs> Where have you been? You know what your friends did? What are you talking about? Hey! Stop searching through my stuff! They arrested Aldo! I know! I saw what you- For murder! Now why would they do that? What? I don't know, but it's not gonna stick. You really need to calm down. To hell with being calm. When I was on my way back from the cabaret, your detective friend was here. Saw him leave your apartment, so don't try to lie. What on earth did you tell him? Literally nothing. I didn't tell him anything. We're close, but something didn't sit right with me. You expect me to believe that you didn't trust your old friend from the Policia? Look, a lot of things are going on right now. It felt safer to play my cards close to my chest. Just when I thought I'd found someone I could trust in this mess. Hey, I was worried about you. Where have you been? Doing a little digging. Hitting up some friends of mine. Friends of yours? The insurgent type? Not everyone's a terrorist. They're club owners, bartenders, singers. Normal people, Jorge. Anyway, this name popped up. Houseman. Equal parts shady and cruel. Started these raids in 1974. 74, you say? He was close to the commander of the Policia Armada, and deeply connected within the Nationalist Party. They repressed all kinds of people they didn't deem Spanish enough. Everyone who didn't fit their Catholic ideals. Wait a minute. You recognize that year, didn't you? Why? What aren't you telling me? I was there. We got transferred to this new unit. The targets were always handed down from above. But that doesn't excuse... I never saw or even heard of Hausmann. In any case, those days should be long gone, and the- You're as blind as you are culpable. Did you already forget what happened right outside your home today? You're just a gang of murderers in uniform. I'm not part of that anymore. I left. Oh, please. You were forced out of service because you couldn't stand at attention. How dare you? Do you have any idea how losing your goddamn legs changes a man? I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. I'm sorry. Interesting. I fell off the quay is a lie. I got drunk one night. Every night after the raids, actually. Passing the harbor. I ran into some of the kids we had targeted a few nights before. They recognized me immediately, of course. Thought I could take them. In the struggle, I fell off the quay, onto the rocks. At first, I was angry. Then, I don't know. I couldn't work. People stopped coming by. I couldn't. 
need to figure out what's going on. And I don't know if I can do it on my own. I don't know what to say. I think... Maybe we should go our separate ways. Wait! Melinda, please! Something I can do. I refuse to be useless. No more. I have to get to the bottom of this. God, that was really emotional. Even though I think Jorge was a piece of shit and is only slightly less of a piece of shit now. I feel their desperation. And I also totally understand why Melinda left. They're totally right to. Makes sense. Fair enough. Also understand why those... They called them kids. I don't know if they were literally kids, but... I understand why the kids attacked Jorge as well. And I support them. It's good that they did that. Because fuck Jorge. But also, you know, other emotions and stuff. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say. Uh, okay, sorry. Um, what's happening at the church? Have the mechanics returned as Aldo back from the arrest? What's going on in the cabaret? Okay, just... Gather information. Better take the camera. Better take the camera. Does it have more film? I wonder if she brought film. Yes. Ah, oh, good. So they're waiting for the mechanics to return. Securing evidence this late at night? Or are you making sure no one else gets to take a look inside? Aldo back from the arrest? No. Aldo's still gone. They can't have the proof they need to convict him. <laughs> they could just invent it. The light just came on. Sabio's talking to himself. Seems really upset. I bet he misses Aldo. Even if Mel doesn't want my help, she's getting it. Hey, Melinda. You there? Look, I, I was watching the square and saw some things that could be useful, okay? 
So Madame Carmen not only handed Lola over to the policia, she's also searching through her apartment. Stay clear of the repair shop. The Polythea are still there. Not sure what they're up to. Aldo's still gone, as you said. I'm sorry. Eusebio's still up. He seems really nervous talking to himself just outside the church. We have to talk. I'm coming up. Okay, there's no hiding that I hate what you and the Policia did. Yeah, I get it. No, you don't. I had a brother. What happened to him? One of those raids. He had talent. Wanted to be a poet. An artist, musician, everything. The world couldn't be colorful enough for him. He loved hanging out with people. One night, he didn't come home. Never did. I'm so sorry. We went to the Policia, of course. They contacted us after a week. Said there had been a car accident or some bullshit. When we finally got to see the body, the bruises told a clear story. Badens. What was his name? Sebastiano Lynx. I know that name. How? Oh, don't tell me. Were you there? I honestly... I, I can't remember. I'm sorry. But I read that name recently. Where? The pamphlet. That's what it is. It's a list of victims. Where did you find this? It was spread all over the plaza today. These must be years when people disappeared. We've got to put this together right now. Who is the stranger from the cabaret? You. Look here. This is the same person we saw at the cabaret. It even mentions his name. Houseman. It has to be the same person. He's running for office in the upcoming election. The rhetoric he uses. It makes my skin crawl. How is Houseman connected to this case? Police say rated clubs, cabarets, and other social gatherings. That's not it. Houseman was close with the commander of the Policia Automata. Houseman was in charge of the flower collectors. My intel, together with your witness account, confirms it. What are the list entries on the pamphlet? The victims. It's a list of victims. It's evidence of all the people murdered in the raids. Houseman, that slimy bastard. This guy is trying to get away from his involvement. I'm not gonna let him. No way will he walk. I'm going to help. Yeah. I still don't know how to feel about everything, but... I have to see this to the end, no matter what. But for now, we should get some rest. Let's start fresh in the morning. It's 
sleeping kitty cat. Still sleeping. What should I do for breakfast? It's really, really, really weird the way they sleep. Can you see that they're like... They're like rotating in their sleep. Gently rotating back and forth. Brew some coffee or prepare a proper breakfast. Let's make a proper breakfast. She looks exhausted. I'll whip up something to eat and let her rest for a bit. I gotta be honest, I was kind of hoping for a cooking minigame, but fair enough. Thanks. Nothing beats a proper breakfast. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Houseman. Yes. It's clear that he must have known about the mole. Now that the list is out, all we have to do is make the connection. Do you think he shot him? I'm not sure it matters. If we can link him to the killings, we'll have a lot to explain. <laughs> Won't look good in the polls. Speaking of, the election is tomorrow. Oh, we gotta work fast. The story has to be finished today. For it to reach the morning papers. Let's not waste any time then. We should start at the cabaret. Houseman's got something going on with the owner. I'll head down. You go check the perimeter. There's still some film left. Or are they just sleeping on the floor? Kid, the cabaret owner is down. In her apartment. What? Is she dead? Can't tell, but it doesn't look good. In any case, this is our chance. I'm going in. Wait a moment. I'll check the door. Mel, stop. The bouncer is there. I just saw him. Crap. You have to distract him. I'll think of something. Hmm, I could call the phone booth again. Who'd have thought this would come in handy again? Senor Blanco. Who is this? I am calling about the cabaret. That's a heck of a voice. It's barely any different from their normal voice. Who is this? Leave her alone. You've done enough harm already. Come on, Mel. Go. I'm in the hallway. Ah, uh, never mind, senor. Stay away from her. Seems like they've received threats in the past. Oh, there's a bottle of alcohol next to them. Next to them. I think they might just be completely drunk. Okay. Careful when you enter. Use your sleeve to open the door. Check the body, but don't move anything. I can hear noises coming from inside. What? She's not dead. She's sleeping. Oh, smells like booze in here. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. What did you find? Interesting bookkeeping. I'm leaving it as I found it, but I took some Polaroids. Good thinking. Apparently, Carmen received regular payments from Houseman, which is definitely a connection. But there was nothing about the mole. We'll have to look elsewhere. A 
observe the plaza. Aldo! Hey, good news. Our friend Aldo made it back from detention. Really? That's great. Good to see he's still on his feet. I'll talk to him. Hurry up, before Eusebio gets there and interferes again. Oh, Eusebio's watching, actually. Ah, that didn't last long. He did it again, but this time I was faster. What did you get? He saw Houseman, the night of the murder, coming from the cabaret. Finally. So there goes his alibi. We're still lacking a gun. If only we could talk to the singer. Somebody at the cabaret has to know something. Sounds like a good lead. I'll keep an eye out. Hope she's also been released from the station. Check if anyone else has shown up in the meantime. You could try that waiter at the cafe. Hmm. He is close to Lola. Maybe she let something slip. Super bad mood. Well, his girlfriend got arrested. He wanted to leave town with her. Bought tickets for them to get out of here. She refused. Said the cabaret was like a family. He'd just come to terms with her choice. Then the policia showed up. Hmm. Doña Ana is watching the repair shop. Got an idea. Now that Houseman is our prime suspect, how about you go and show his picture to Doña Ana? Good thinking. Do you need a photo? I'm good. I'll just get a copy of yesterday's news. guy from the paper, but never saw him on the night. Damn. She told me a story about those Italian women, though. The mechanics. Said they showed up about a year ago. Yeah, I remember. That's when the noise started. Damn scooters. Focus, Jorge. They came here looking for their dad, who disappeared some years ago. Disappeared? Anna thinks he was part of that revolutionaries group in the Spanish mountains. They followed his trail here to find him. No luck so far. So, another one. Gone. Think about it. The mole gets killed because he's carrying a list of missing people. The next day, the list shows up on pamphlets in front of their repair shop. They found the original and started printing it. If they can't get their dad back... They can at least try to make sure it doesn't happen again. We should add that to your story. I can't stop thinking about the printing press. We should take a closer look at it. I'll take a picture. Okay. Got a shot of the press. Maybe the original list is still in there somewhere. Makes good evidence. 
I'll take a peek inside. It's no good. The policia locked the place up. Let me think. The kids were talking about something. I'll ask them. See what they know. They told me the mechanics used to let them play around the back. So they know a way to get in? Maybe there's a rear entrance. I'll check when it gets dark. to see you're safe, Lola. You won't believe who's back from custody. Stop playing games. Our evasive singer. She's in the garden. Is she okay? Hard to tell from up here. Why don't you go and ask her? Gave her a black eye. It's bad. Bastards. She's covering it with makeup so she can keep performing. Aside from that, she seems okay. Said she's used to it. Has been running from authorities all her life. I told her about what we're doing. She's keen to help. Did she tell you anything about Houseman? Yes. Houseman is responsible for some changes here. She said it looked like the cabaret was going bust until he showed up. He must have been pouring money in. Certainly fits the records you found in Carmen's room. I think their deal has something to do with the disappearances. Maybe Carmen is... Houseman just showed up. Quick, find a place to hide. Didn't have a clue I was here. Lola made sure he kept talking. She's amazing. Careful. He's still in there. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you later. But the gist is that he threatened her not to talk about the night he was here. So Aldo was right. Totally. Now we just need to find his gun. He won't have it on him. He's too smart for that. Yeah. Hey, tell me when he leaves, so I can get out. <sighs> Cut 
Cutting it a bit close there, Mel. You got to be joking. Mel, he left the cabaret. <laughs> Good. I was getting bored. He's meeting with Eusebio. How far does this guy's reach go? Can't say I'm surprised. The Catholic Church is in it with the worst of them. Anyone who allows them to spread their traditions and influence. Can't believe I trusted that two-faced coward. Wait. Could this be the reason why Eusebio stopped me from talking with Aldo? Damn it! All right, that's it. I'm coming up. 